Welcome to my channel and I'm here to inspire you, give you crochet advice and help you along with your next project. If you enjoyed this pattern please give me a thumbs up or even comment so I can gauge your interest. It helps me to know what to film next. I'm not very formal. Here's today's zinger. Oh my! <laughs> my yarn stash is really getting low. I can actually close the door of my house. And without further ado let's get on with today's tutorial. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Today we have a single crochet Christmas tree skirt. This actually came as a request on YouTube. Somebody uh, saw my other one that I just designed and they asked if it could be done in single crochet. So I went and did the math. I also did the crochet diagrams for you. There is, it is available in three sizes with an eight inch space. Also with a six inch space that you have here and also with a uh, uh, four inch space. So that's the final one here if I could actually just switch my paper over. So there you go. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna show you each of these designs. So what you're looking at here is actually just one yarn ball. I know it's hard to believe. One ogo actually. And this is the Red Heart Super Saver in Christmas color and it is changing color on its own. So even though it looks more organized like this as it gets bigger and bigger you're gonna see that the colors are gonna mix more and more as it becomes bigger. So you'll notice that it becomes more blocked as it's smaller because there's less distance but the longer that each side gets um, basically the colors will start mixing up. So you can switch out the colors if you would like to change it and strategize it. At the end what I recommend to you is just dampen it up a little bit and just lay it flat and just pull all the edges and so therefore it will sit flat because single crochet has a tendency to want to buckle onto itself. So you'll need a five millimeter size H crochet hook whatever yarn that you decided to use. Have fun with the colors and let's begin our journey and let's start with the four inch sample first. In 2021 I've been designing more on a computer and I've been designing it on paper here before actually trying it on the sample and if it doesn't work on the sample then I come back to the diagram and I test it again. So I wanted to put the amount of repeating that I had so really what you're seeing is some of my work. So 4, 4, 8, 8 and 8 is myself being able to keep the count so that I can transition this to something bigger in the future. So what I want to concentrate on is that we're going to do the number of chains in order to do this. So this is a chaining of 32 to make this happen and we're gonna start off with just the shorter side with the slit and then work our way around and then coming back and finishing up here. So we're always gonna start and stop in the slit area. So let's uh, begin and let's start and show you how this is done. Once you get onto row number two it's just repeating row number two over and over and over until you're satisfied and on the link of the more information of this video you'll be able to find all the different sizes that are just generally standard but don't be afraid to make it your own personal size. Let's begin. So let's create a slip knot. I would classify this as an easy level. For those that are beginners easy level is one step up from beginners. So I know people say as you said it was easy and it's not and I'm new to crochet. There are different levels. This is classified as easy. So let's chain 32. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and go all the way to 32 and meet me back here in just a moment. My 32 are now complete. So it looks longer than you would imagine it would but once it starts forming the shape you realize it's not as long as you think. So let's begin and walk through this slowly. Second chain from the hook grab the back hump of the chain. It looks nicer so just go count 1, 2 and get the back hump and stay on the back hump of the chain for the entire duration of going across. So you're going to single crochet that one plus the next two in a row. So one and two. In the next chain we're going to turn a full corner. So in this next chain you're going to start off with a single crochet, chain two and single crochet all in the same chain. And you can see it just did a nice 90 degree turn. Now the next seven chains are each going to be one single crochet. So starting in the next one you'll do the next seven in a row. So let's count those. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. You ready? Next one. The next one is a full corner again. So you're going to in the next one you'll put in a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. 
these corners, or sorry, these sides, these long sides are all equal to the, each other. So I told you last time there was seven in a row. So after you've done the corner, there's another seven in a row. So let's count those out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You ready for more? In the next chain is a full corner. So you'll single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So you can kind of see how it's working out. So we have another full side. So the next seven in a row are single crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So guess what that means? That's right, the next one is a corner. So a full blown corner of single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And this will leave you three stitches left. And those are each one single crochet. So we have one, two, and three. And that's it for round number one, or row number one. It's considered a row because it doesn't attach. And if you lay it down, you should see how it's, how it looks and it should look like this. So the open slit is at the top. You have your three sides that are complete and etc. So let's move on to row number two which is the repeat throughout the duration of this project. So now you don't really need to pay attention to the charting at all. The first row is complete. So now we can just follow exactly what you have until you're satisfied and remember the more information and link of this video has the different sizes. So to start up you're going to chain one and you'll apply one single crochet in each of the single crochets until you get to the corner. I'm not gonna count it. You don't need to if you can identify your stitches. Now somebody said to me once that because I said if you can identify it then you don't need to count. That doesn't, it's not, I don't mean to sound condescending. That's just the reality of it. So you don't need to count. So you can see that I have this single crochet there. There is the corner. So the corner is next. So the corners will always be a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And then you start with the next one right after it and then single crochet in each of the stitches until you get to the next corner. If you really need to know then there's always an increase of two stitches per side uh, when it comes to doing these full sides and then on the this one here it's only one stitch extra it creates on the shorter side just so you know. But I don't really think you need to know that too much. Just follow what you see and then single crochet in the corner, chain two and single crochet to turn and then it start immediately and the one right after the corner and continue. Here's the next corner. Do you hear me being stressed? I'm not stressed. I'm just following what I see so I don't need to count. So then you have another full corner. So you can change colors at any time. Uh, if you have a yarn that changes color on its own like the Christmas yarn from with the Red Heart Super Saver Ogo, um, that's pretty fun and it will actually keep you probably interested to see when the yarn is gonna change and it will become very random looking in the end. Here's the next corner. And then you're going to finish that off this side. So all you're just going to do is that you're just going to turn your work and begin the next row and it will get thicker and this will be the slot. So this would be a great artificial Christmas tree size if you're looking for that and you can go as big as you need to go. So we're going to move on now and we're going to move on to the six inch size next. 
So moving on to the six inch size now and it's obviously bigger in the middle, six inches across the flats. So that means that there's more of a distance. So you're looking at some of my rough notes that are left here so that I could understand the repeat. And so you're going to notice when we start and stop we'll be on the shorter sides that's wrapping around. So we'll have three full sides and one side that is partial on either side. Once you get to row number two it's just repeating over and over and over and in the more information of this video is a link and you can find out all the different Christmas tree skirt sizes that there is but don't be afraid to improvise it on your own. With the six inch across the flats here you wanna pay attention that you may wanna go to an eight inch if you have a tree that needs to be watered and again that's completely up to you on the size that you would like to do. Nice easy repeating on this and we're gonna go through this section now using our five millimeter size H crochet hook and whatever yarn that you decided to use today. Let's begin. So let's create a slip knot and put it onto the hook. You are going to chain a total of 64. So one, two, three, four and five. Go all the way to 64 and meet me back here in just a moment. So let's begin. I'm going to go through it slowly. The chain is obviously bigger than four inches, uh, the four inch size. <laughs> I'm not even a rocket scientist and I know that. <laughs> okay, so let's begin and let's do it nice and slowly. Second chain from the hook. Turn it over the chain and get the back hump of the chain. It's what I recommend. It has a nicer look and just count back. One, two, turn it over and single crochet that one. Now I need you to single crochet the next six in a row. So we'll count those out together. One, two, three, four, five, and six is the last one. So there should be a total count of seven single crochets. So with the one you started and the next six gives you seven. In the next chain you're going to do the same thing for turning a corner. So everything I'm about to show you I call it a full blown corner. I have no idea why I call it that because you know sometimes I need psychiatric help. <laughs> I come up with words that make no sense. So in the next one here we're going to single crochet, chain two, and single crochet. So you've just done a 90 degree turn there so it's a full blown corner. Now the next three sides are all gonna be the same and I'll, I'll take you through them. Don't worry, don't be panicking now. So the next 15 in a row will all be single crochet. So let's be count the count from Sesame Street. So let's count to 15. So we have one, uh, 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 <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen and fifteen. So once fifteen are in you're going to turn a corner. So in the next chain you'll do what you already know to do. So you'll single crochet, chain two and single crochet and then we're gonna move on again. So we're gonna do another full side. So the count is fifteen. Let's count those out together. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Once your 15 are in you're gonna turn the next corner. So single crochet into the next one, chain two and single crochet into the same one. So now you're going to do the, um, the third full side. So again another 15 in a row. So count one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15 and once that 15 is done you're turning another corner so it'll be single crochet chain 2 single crochet and you notice that the chain that you have left is really short and there will be 7 left there if your stitching is right and I'm looking carefully and I only have 7 thank goodness. <laughs> so we're going to single crochet the final 7 so you can count it just because you like counting. So 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, and seven. So my counts are right. That's good. And you're gonna turn your work and let's talk about moving on. So before you do that, let's just back you out a little bit so you can take a look at the sample. So if you look at the sample, they should be all equal to each other in this shape. Looking pretty good. And you're gonna turn your work and let's begin row number two. So row number two all the way to infinity as long as you wanna make it. As I mentioned it's a free pattern link is in the more information of this video. So you can see all the different sizes. Now you don't need to count. You just need to do. So the only thing that you're paying attention to is the corners. So the corners will always be single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And you'll always start off in the same way. So you just chain up one and apply one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way across. You don't need to count honestly. Just do it and turn on the television, put on a good movie. If you see Squid Games, I'm not so sure I'd recommend that one at this time. <laughs> I found myself so engaged I wasn't hooking. I was looking down. I'm like I'm not getting nothing done and I'm scared as hell of a big robot. <laughs> so you're just gonna go all the way to the corner and you're going to chain or sorry single crochet, chain two, single crochet. Now I'm getting all excited about Squid Games. So once you get that corner done you start immediately after the one and then you continue to crochet along. But if anybody's seen that movie or that series, <gasps> I have like not been so glued as like Making It the Murder I think was the last time I like stayed up all night and binged um, Squid Games and watched it over two nights and I was like crying on episode six. <gasps> oh my god I was such a mess. Oh. I'm like this is supposed to be a TV show and I'm like I'm not crocheting a damn thing and my hands were sweaty because I was so stressed out. <laughs> I don't know. If you've seen that movie you can let me know in the comments or seen that series you can let me know in the comments and what you thought about it. Um, it was like wow. I was just so glued into that. So coming up to the next corner you can see I'm just yapping at you because I'm not counting. I don't need to. I can see the corners next. You just single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And you're lucky I'm not playing red light, green light with you here <laughs> on camera. And only people that saw Squid Games can understand what I'm saying. The voiceover work actually took me a bit getting used to but once I got hooked into what the story was I was like oh my goodness. It was just like wow. Just wow. Yeah. So anyway there's a great twist at the end of the, the series if you're, you're watching that. I'm hoping they come up with series number two on that. Because I'll be like probably glued just as much. So continuing along crocheting. Anybody else see anything else that's good on t on? I'm always looking for stuff to binge watch as I crochet. And coming up to the next corner which is next right here the chain two. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet and then continuing across. So at the time of filming this is October 17th I believe it is today. And uh, that's 2021 and uh, Christmas is around the corner coming up really soon. Uh, we have the pandemic that is in full blown swing for the stock issues. You know in the future when this video is still playing hopefully that's resolved and the pandemic is pretty much behind us. Um, for those living in today's era you can you know how stressful it is. So it's something that we're having to work through obviously. So we're continuing along. And I'm coming to the next corner. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And then finally you're just gonna do that small side 
Again, I'm not counting it. I'm just gonna end it where it ends. So you can just repeat row number two over and over and over until you're satisfied. You can change colors at any time. You can use the Red Heart Super Saver Ogo in the Christmas format and really um, have a <laughs> gay old time. Um, that's a Fred Flintstone quote just so you know. So anyway, that's how old I am. So um, yeah, so that's what you can do and so at the end of it you'll turn your work and you'll begin and uh, once you understand this pattern you can pretty much just let it fly in the wind and you can see, and let me just back you out a little bit. So you can see that from the first uh, round to the second it becomes more square and we're going to move on to the eight inch square next. So welcome to the eight inch middle hole <laughs> square. This is the Christmas tree skirt and uh, this is the probably the one I'd recommend if you're watering a tree, a live tree. Obviously you can use this for any size and actually if you, even if you use this for artificial you probably could get away with it as well. Um, that means that there would be less rows to crochet in order to get to this eight inch uh, spot but that's completely up to you and how you would like to do it. You are looking at my rough notes here so I just put in my counts as I was doing it in order for myself to stay in balance. We are going to chain 96 to begin and each side will have 23 um, empty stitches. Um, you see the number 24 that's just for the repeating that we have uh, when it comes to these ideas. So that's something that you can keep in mind for yourself. So let's begin and we're going to start off and start with chaining of 96. One last thing before I leave you in the more information link of this video you'll find all the different sizes of trees uh, for skirts. So that's something that you can find there so you know when to stop. So this is like a foundation of getting yourself started and you can end exactly where you feel like you should. So let's begin by creating a slip knot. This is an easy level pattern and uh, for the beginners this is one step up from the beginners level. I need you to chain 96. So just one, two, three, four and five. Go all the way to 96 and meet me back here in a few moments from now. I now have 96. We have a super long chain. You realize it's not as long as you think it is once you get moving on this thing and uh, just put faith into the counting. So we're going to start with row number one. We're gonna take it nice and slowly and that's where we're going to begin. Second chain from the hook. You're going to turn it over and get the back hump of the chain and you're going to single crochet that one plus the next 10 in a row. So let's count those out together. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So with the 10 that you just did and the extra one that gives you a total count of 11. So in the corners when we go to turn them the next chain is a corner so it'll be a single crochet, chain two and a single crochet in the same chain and that gives you a nice 90 degree turn. So we're gonna count these out as we go along and we're going to count the next 23 as a single crochet. So let's count those out each. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. So that's one whole complete side. So there's three sides that'll be completely like that. The next chain is a corner so it'll be a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. It's another full side so another 23 in a row. So let's count. So we have one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Once you're 23 you're in, you're ready for another corner. So the next one is a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And let's start another large corner or large side. So it's 23 in a row. We'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23, so there's a side done. The next one is another corner. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the same chain. And if your counts are right, the last 11 will be on their own. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and that took you right. That took you right to the end. So, but before you move on, what I want you to do is just let's back you out on the camera because this one's a big one, and just make look like the shape that it's supposed to look like, just to see if you got it right. And you can see it does look right. So as it gets bigger, this is gonna get more stronger on the interior of keeping it shape. And this was row number one. Let's turn our work and begin row number two. So let's pick up our work and do row number two. So row number two, to infinity. And again, there's a link in the more information of this video where you can find all the Christmas tree skirt sizes. You don't need to count any longer. You can just look at the project and do it. So let's bring you in a little bit closer here. Chain one and do one single crochet in each of the stitches until you get to a corner. And now this is when you can turn on the television and enjoy or you can talk to people if you if you can do that. Myself when I get around others I tend to quieten it up. Uh, when I crochet I tend to stay quiet. Um, not that I'm counting I think it's just the Zen moment or kind of like a meditation with crochet. It's probably why I enjoy it so much. It's a lot of me internal time to process my internal problems that I have. So I'm just gonna come all the way until I hit to the corner which is next and, and the corners will be the same as what you know. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the chain two space. So carrying along, it's one single crochet in every stitch. <coughs> Excuse me. So I really like this pattern in the sense of simplicity. Um, somebody did recommend it, that's how it came to be. Um, and I also have figured out another size or type of skirt. It's the modern granny skirt and that will be a tutorial that I'm probably gonna film tomorrow. It's October 17th of 2021 at this time and so I will probably be filming the next one tomorrow. There's a kind of an unwritten rule uh, that you do not put more than one tutorial out a day on YouTube and the reason for it is that the 24 hour cycle for new tutorials actually matters. So that's kind of why there's ever only one tutorial a day and if I put up more than one then I end up suffering the consequences of putting too much content at one time. 
So the very next stitch is the chain two. And what I mean by that is that usually people need a day to digest new content and that's why they suggest that. So once you turn the corner, chain a uh, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, just continue it, uh, continue along. So there's a lot of things that I've learned about YouTube over the years and what people's behavior is. Um, one thing that I can never seem to get um, right is the speed, but people can change the speed with the, the player window options. And you can do it with any video, not just mine, and it can slow me down or it can speed me up depending on your needs. Um, it is impossible as a host as far as I'm concerned to find the right speed for everybody. Um, new uh, crocheters that have been crocheting with me a long time, they kind of understand where I'm gonna go next. I'm almost predictable. And it's like when you start, when you started school as you were a kid, if you're an adult now, is that it took about a week or so before you can understand the pattern of the teacher. And it's kind of a rough like two weeks getting to understand their, their mannerisms and their language and their speed. But once you get used to them, it becomes easier. And I think some people get that with me. So here's another corner. And I'm primarily thinking of my grade uh, six teacher. It was the first time I had a male uh, teacher. And you know, just the tone of his voice and stuff took a little bit of um, getting used to because it was the first time having a male teacher. And I think uh, when it comes to YouTube here, you get to like your hosts that you really like. Um, and some, some people, my voice is drive, drives them nuts. Other people, my voice is soothing. So it really depends on the person's um, attitude and also what their wish list is for what they want in a host. So continuing along, I, as you can see, I'm just yapping at you as I'm moving along. Sorry, Diane <laughs> and Nancy, they're our closed captioning team. The more I talk, the more work it takes them to fix my scripting. So I've been very conscious not to speak too much in these newest tutorials over the last few years. But sometimes I, I'm cheating the system where I talk to you too much. Okay, so here's the next corner. And I'm only taking you through row number two because that's what my goal is today. So you turn the corner and do the rest. So you're just gonna do now row number two until you're satisfied. As I mentioned, the more information linked in the video exists with the different Christmas tree skirt sizes. You can always improvise to the size that you prefer the most. Um, it was requested just doing a single crochet nice and easy. You can really um, probably blast through some scrap yarn or, or yarn stash that you may have. I don't like calling my yarn collection a stash but it feels very hoarding <laughs> but that is what it is. So once I finish row number two, you can see that the, li the lines strengthened up on it's each other and you can see it looks pretty good. So at the end of this, I would just go to the size that I want, just dampen it up and just lay it on a table and just pull the sides open and that will help it if it's buckling up on the corners a little bit but the math is right and this would be how you would do the eight inch middle hole. So that's it for today. We hope that you enjoy and that's it for now. We'll see ya. Bye bye.